right guys i'm in weatherford texas i'm looking for the statue of mary mine oh and i can already see it mary martin as some of you most of you would not know is a actor but she's the mother of larry hackman jr from dallas Weatherford, 1913. I have a statue here, which I can see. And we're going to go and have a look. We're outside Weatherford Library, Texas. Here is JR's mum. A tribute to a genius at Weatherford's Mary Martin who brought a myth to life for America's millions. 1976. So that's her when she played Peter Pan. Okay guys, there was Mary Martin. Next we're gonna check out where she's buried. Hi right, guys, we're in Weatherford, Texas. We're at the old Greenwood Cemetery and we're looking for JR's mum. Mary Martin. City Greenwood Cemetery. Oh, they've all got like <laughs> shaken hands. You see that hand? I didn't eat, I don't know, I just turned and it was, I was just drawn to it. I was just good, it was strange. That's crazy. Cause we were, I was gonna walk all the way, all the way around there looking for Mary Martin and Anna found her and there she is. It's like she led me here though. I literally turned and thought, oh, okay. Then I walked right, I mean, it was weird. That's crazy. So Mary Martin, born in Weatherford. You might not know Mary Martin, but you definitely know Mary Martin's son, who is Larry Hagman, JR in Dallas. Mary Martin um, is a theatre actor. She's in quite a few things. Peter Pan, she's most noted for. Very cool. But yeah, we actually love Mary, you're an amazing son. You're amazing, but your son was amazing. And I actually met your son in London many years ago, and he was absolutely lovely. Got a picture with him. And he was super nice. Yeah, they're super noisy trains in Texas. Okay, just gonna quickly show this one. Look how cool this M looks on the top.
This is crazy because that grave over there says Martin. And this one says Anna. I mean, this is obviously the mum and the dad. Well, obviously, because it says and daddy and mummy and daddy, maybe the brother, and then her with her husband. That would make sense. 